Gentle Mango. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Manchester United Career Mode here on Gentle Mango, where uh, last episode we actually had a we actually had a better episode. We actually were playing some good football and got ourselves up to seventh place. So uh, now you know we're really flying when you're up to seventh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're up to 7th, uh, 24 points, we're not too far off top 4, um, I think for us now it's important to get through these next few fixtures and pick up some points because there's some points to be had. Uh, next up we've got Brentford away, so there's some points there, you'd be you'd be thinking. Uh, Brighton at home at Old Trafford, um, again, you'd be thinking that we'd be picking up all 3 points, and then away at Newcastle, which could be a bit tough, but... You know, I think that we should be picking up three points there as well. So I don't think there's any reason why we can't have a perfect episode and uh, win all three games. So let's hope that we start off well against Brentford right now. Okay, let's have a look at this team. Tellez is looking a little tired, so sure we can start. Uh, so is Dallo. Maybe we'll go Twanzebe on that right side. He's been good there when I've, when I've tried him there. Uh, everyone else looks okay. But I'm thinking maybe we give Fernandez a rest and let's play Rice in a more advanced role there. Um, oh, he loses a lot, doesn't he? He's minus six. Why is uh, Sancho so unhappy? I need to uh, train Sancho to be a striker if I'm going to continue playing this formation because he's not too impressed. But anyway, let's move Rice down a little, make him more of a centre mid. Uh, nope. Where can we do that? Maybe over here. Centre mid. Yeah, okay, that's better. So Rice will play centre mid, and then Chouamini can be the, uh, the sole cam. I'll make him more central. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to go with, and, um, let's have a look at this Brentford team. Tony, uh, yeah, I mean, Tony's a threat. Uh, Brentford will be a threat, but we should be winning this game, so... Uh, it is on Legendary. Robert Jones is the referee, and it's raining, so, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. The rain is absolutely pelting down here at Brentford. And uh, let's hope it's not a scrappy game. I'd like to win this one comfortably if we can. Up the lads. Brentford playing around on the edge of the area here. Knocking it back. Rice can't get there. Varane intercepts. And Ronaldo heads it down to Rashford. Can we get out from here? Ronaldo sees that run of Sancho. Gets it up to Rashford. Sancho can't quite collect, but uh, it's a lively start. Oh! Brentford have given it away. Ronaldo intercepts. Chuamini can't get there. But uh, there's a lot going on already as they give it right back to us. And Rashford loses it immediately. Now Shaw's going for it. And uh, can we have a bit of calm in the game, please, fellas? Oh, Shaw. Lost his man. Oh, De Gea with a big stop. Jeez, Shaw really didn't mark his man well there. The corner now to Brentford. Ericsson whips it in. Fred, Rice has it now. Goes past his man with confidence in the back line. Rice coming back into the team today. Up to Rashford who dinks it up to Shaw. Fumbles it a little bit but ends up getting it to Chuamini who tries to put Ronaldo in. Ronaldo's onside. Ronaldo! He's missed. Oh no, why didn't he take that on his right foot? Damn it! The Ten Hag spewing. But now we've got a corner from it. That should have been a goal. Rashford though... Can't find that corner. Damn it. That really should have been a goal. Fuck's sake. Oh, very nearly there. Brentford knocking on the door. Ronaldo knocks it up to Rashford. Who can run? And Rashford does run. Knocks it ahead of him. He keeps going, Marcus Rashford. He's going to try and cut inside. He does so. Rashford, what a save. Chuamini. Ronaldo, save again. Ronaldo again. Oh, my God. How have we not got the ball across the line there? The keeper was brilliant. And now Brentford coming forward. twanzebe has got a chase on here. Oh, my God. What on earth just happened at the end of this half? So that's half time. What an end to that half. Uh, but the team is looking uh, okay. Rashford's looking a little bit tired, but uh, he can continue. I don't think we need to make any changes. Uh, let's get into the second half. So half time. Jeez, what an end to that half. <laughs> Oh my god, we need to find a goal from somewhere because uh, Brentford look like they might find one if we don't. Uh, anyway, Rashford's looking a little bit tired, but I don't think we need to take him off. Uh, let's get into the second half. Ronaldo kicks us off, and we're just going to run straight at them here. 
Ronaldo does a bit of shepherding. And Rashford tries to spin around his man, but can't do it. Ronaldo is going to try and beat his man here. He does okay, comes out with it. And now Twanzebe is making a run for him. Ronaldo looks for him. Twanzebe can't quite get there. But he keeps the pressure on his man. And does win the ball, Twanzebe. Done very well. Sancho. And who can there? Oh my god, it's Rashford. And I said, who can there? I was going to say, who's there? Rashford can't find the back of the net. And that was a big chance. We should be putting these away. But we do get a corner from. I'm going to try and find Ronnie. Ronaldo's under it. He launches, but he can't quite get ahead to it. All right. 73 minutes played. It's time to make some changes. Rashford's really tired, so Nunez will come on. Ronaldo's really tired as well, but I don't really want to take him off. Just because he can pop up with a goal at any point. Um, all right, Ronaldo can stay on. However, Bruno will come on for Chuamini. And Donny's going to come on for Rice and play more advanced uh, with Bruno. So... Let's go ahead with this and try and sneak a goal because uh, this is three points we should be picking up. All right, the boys are coming on now. Oh, risky play at the back. Door upfield. Nunez up to Fernandez, the fresh sub. He dinks it in. Sancho on the back stick. Twanzebe tries to dink it back in. He does to Donny. Donny heads it backwards. No one's there, though. Brentford try and clear it. However, it comes back to Shaw, who gets it to Bruno. Fred can launch one. Fred, oh, Alvaro collects. It was a bit speculative. Ronaldo kicks it forward. Ronaldo's tired. Ronaldo's going to hit this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what an effort from Ronaldo. It's Ethan Pinnock. Pinnock. Ethan Pinnock picks up a yellow card. And Bruno's uh, getting into it with the ref. But what an effort from Ronaldo. All right, we'll get Bruno on the corner. Let's dink it in. Right in that danger zone. Who's going to get onto it? No one. Sancho can get it back in. No, no, he can't. Timber can. Timber does get it back in. Oh, no, we're running out of time now. And that's going to be the game. Oh, damn it. Let's try not to lose it here. Oh, no. Well, I said at the start of the episode I wanted to pick up uh, three wins from three games. That's, that's all over in the first game. We come away from Brentford with a draw, and that is not good enough. So uh, we've got a offer here from Brighton. I think it's all been agreed now. So Gorta looks like he is going to go on a two-year loan to Brighton with an option to buy. Uh, I never had any plans for him. Um, we only used him to trade Phil Jones, if you remember, to I Ajax. Uh, so that's all good. All right, well, we're moving forward now into this Brighton game, which is risk of losing a player. Uh, just to remind you, the following players, the contract's due to expire in the very near future. Lee Grant. No! No! All right, another quick look at the table before we get into this Brighton game. So that point just kept us in seventh place. Uh, we are now five points off Chelsea, who are in third. Um, so, you know, that when gaps like that start to open up, that's when you need to start uh, putting the pedal down because we can't lose touch with Chelsea because... That top four spot is where we want to be. So let's get into this Brighton game. Um, oh, boy, that front three is looking tired, isn't it? Let's have a look here what we can do. Um, let's start Nunez in the striker position. Let's play a Langer on the right side. I don't know. I, I, I could use Lingard, but he's, he's not really our player anymore. He's going, so I don't really want to give him game time. Maybe Diallo can have a run out. It's a Premier League game, though. I can't be playing Diallo. Um, uh, tell you what, let's put him on the bench, and, uh, we'll start with this, we'll go Rashford, Nunez, Alanga, Varane's a bit tired as well, you know, let's give Bayer a start, and, uh, if things aren't working out, we'll bring Varane on, but that's the team we're going to go with, um, Jared Gillett is the referee, the Aussie, and, uh, let's get into it, it's a clear day at Old Trafford. Alright, out come the boys, I got the mascots. And uh, Brighton will kick us off here today at Old Trafford. Let's try and get a better result. Uh, this season is starting to fall away from us if we don't get things moving. Brighton now on the edge of the box. Dallo can't get there. Oh, no, it's, it's Antonio. Oh, I didn't realise they had Antonio and De Gea with a monstrous save. Goodness me, I don't want to have to deal with Antonio. Brighton on the corner, however, it comes in. 
and to higher collects, but uh, this bright this Brighton attack's got a bit of bite to it by the looks of it. Trossard bringing it forward now for Brighton on the edge of the box still. I'm gonna try and jockey him here. Keep him out, keep him out. Bruno does well to get a foot in, and Nunez taps it out to Rashford. Try and bring it forward. Rashford dinks it out nicely. And Alanga can run onto that. Alanga does have some legs behind him. He's going to drink the cross in. And Veltman cuts it out. However, Fred brings it forward again. Chuamini dinks it forward. Rashford off the bar. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. What a save. What an effort from the keeper. But we've got a corner now. And Bruno can whip this into the danger area. Nunez is under it, but it goes out for a goal kick. Oh, no. Another corner. Yes. Okay. Another corner. Bruno sends it in again. Nunez is under it again, but gets nothing to it this time. Fred's bringing the Brazilian out in him today. Oh, okay. No, that was Fred. Oh, and Brighton have numbers here. We've got, we've got no one back. And there it is. And there it is. Oh, boys. What is going on today? Oh, Mwepu scores, and uh, I, I don't know. Is it the lack of Varane? Or is it just because I'm shit at FIFA? Yeah, it's a good chance of being the case as well. And a lot of work to do to get in front, because Brighton have not been a, an easy task so far. Chuamini now. Plays Rashford in. Rashford, can we get a goal here, Marcus Rashford? Oh, Sanchez with a beautiful save. Ten Hag's thinking, I want this guy. Bruno on the corner now. He's going to send it in. Who's under that? I can't tell. Alanga, edge of the box. Gets it back out to Bruno, who can run at them. Bruno tries to get around Webster, but the tackle's put in. However, Nunez has it back now. Tellez. Tellez looking for a pass. Finds Alanga. Alanga can shoot. And Sanchez again. Alanga can't believe it. The Brighton keeper has been amazing. It was a good shot from Alanga. But now we've got the corner to deal with. Bruno sends it in. Nunez up for it. Can't get ahead to it. Alanga. Alanga. Over the bar. Oh, and Tellez brings his man down. I thought that was a good challenge, but it's a free kick to Brighton. And uh, this, is a, this is a dangerous area if they get a good run in. However, Timber cuts it out. Not too far, though, and they've still got it on the edge of the box, Brighton. Chuamini going for it. Now Fred steps up, and Bruno intercepts and kicks it forward now. If they can work it out between them, Alanga gets it away from Nunez, and Alanga can run now. Go, Alanga. Oh, go on, son. Back stick. No, Nunez. Oh, no. How have we not scored there? Oh, boys, these are the chances that we don't take. And then we end up losing games. Rashford up to Alanga. He's waiting for that run. Bruno makes that run. Bruno tries to get it over Sanchez, but he can't. Oh, and it's a goal kick. Sanchez has had a man of the match performance in the first half. We don't have to play the second half. Just give it to him now. Oh, man. In better news, Newcastle are beating City. Uh, Chelsea are drawing, but <laughs> we need to find a goal against this keeper. Um, Chuamini's looking a bit tired, so is Rashford. I'll probably give him till 60 minutes, and then I'll make a change. But, uh, let's get this second half underway. Chuamini with a big tackle. Nunez now, up to Rashford. He's going to try and find Alanga. He does find Alanga. Alanga on this far side, tries to beat his man. He does well. Gets it up to Nunez, who hits it. And it's a corner to United. Good play, boys. Corner comes in from Bruno. Oh, Nunez can't get on the end of it. Alanga has the ball now. Can't beat his man. Oh, he can beat his man. Alanga. Oh, what a save from Sanchez again. And Alanga's been brilliant today as well. As the ball comes back in, Chuamini, was he on side? He was. Bruno Fernandez. Sanchez with another stop. Bruno, can he keep the ball? He gets ahead to it, but Brighton do get it away. Fred, though, gets it back. Chuamini. Nunez, Nunez with the ball through, can't get it through to Bruno. And now Brighton do bring it away. All right, Rashford and Chuamini are absolutely rooted. So we'll bring on Sancho on that left side. Uh, Ronaldo's going to come on and try and sneak a goal. Actually, you know what? Alanga's been better than Nunez. Alanga can stay on and stay on that right side. 
Shulamani needs to come off. Bruno can take, uh, sorry, Donnie can take his spot. And I think that's all we're going to do. Oh, should Diallo get, no. Uh, no, he's not quick enough. I think that's all we're going to do for now. So let's try and get a goal in this game. Antonio bring it forward for Brighton. Now they're looking threatening. However, Tellers does brilliantly and Rashford can bring it forward. Rashford knocks it upfield to Nunez. Oh, shit. I knew he didn't have the pace and Dunk caught him up well. Chuamini with the interception, though. Bruno can't find Nunez either. We can't get our subs on. I'm going to have to kick the ball out myself. However, Brighton come forward and it may not matter. Antonio on the ball. Turns. Ow! Sorry, that's the noise that I make when I die inside. Oh my god, that was awful. That was awful. I just watched it unfold in slow motion. Oh, we are in some poor form. That hurts. That hurts. We need to get out of this form slump. We really do. Antonio, bring it forward. Why have I dragged the defenders out of position? And De Gea is pissed off, and he should be. The defence has been shocking. Corner comes in from Trossard. Timber gets it out to Tellez. Brighton just want it more. Oh my god, it was nearly three. What is going on back there, boys? Two minutes at a time. I just want to get this game out of the way now. This has been awful. Van der Beek heads it forward. And uh, the ref puts us, out, puts us out of our misery. 2-0 to Brighton. At Old Trafford as the boos ring out. And Ted Hag is wishing he stayed at Ajax. Oh boy, we're in 10th place. Oh no. We're in 10th place on 25 points. Arsenal are in 4th place. 5 points ahead of us, which is not a gap that I like this early on. Um, you know, it's still not out of the realms of possibility for us to get into this conversation of top 4. But, I mean, even City are only on 34 points, but we're just bottling every game. We're playing awful football, and I'm not sure what to do. However, next up, we have Newcastle. It sounds like an easy game, but let's have a look at Newcastle's last result, shall we? They beat City 1-0, so if that's anything to go by, we're going to lose 6 or 7-0. But we must remain optimistic, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. Um, I think, yeah, that's our team fully fit, so Varane's back in the side, which is big. And you know what? Fred has been good, however... I think I'm going to sacrifice Chuamini for um, Rice. Uh, I'm just messing around with the team, and I'm just thinking if we should maybe give a back five a go. I think it's just going to give us a much more solid foundation because we're just absolutely awful at the back at the moment, and uh, I think we need to make a change. So we're going to move to a back five. All right, this is what I've come up with. It's called the Gentle Mango Super Hybrid Formation. No, it's just some random crap I've just come up with. So, Ronaldo up top, and then Rashford and Sancho playing left forward and right forward, flanking Fernandez at Cam. Rice replaces Fred. Now, Fred's been quite good for us, but I feel like Rice has just got that extra quality to play that uh, lone centre mid role. So, Rice plays centre mid. And then we've got Tellers, Timber, Varane, Bailly, Dallow as a back five. Uh, Varane in the middle, I feel like you want your best centre back in the middle. Um, and then Dallow, Tellers are actually left wing backs, but uh, I've told them to stay back as much as they can. So that's what we're going to go with. And uh, let's hope that this works because this team needs some sort of foundation. And I think a back five is going to give that to us. All right, so the referee is Martin Atkinson. It's a clear day away at Newcastle. Let's get it underway. All right, Ronaldo kicks us off. And uh, a big game here today. We really, really need the result. I say that every game now because the situation has become that dire. But I'm hopeful with this new formation that we can get something going today. So up the lads. Ronaldo with the interception. Sancho can run. Run, Sancho, run. Well done. Ronaldo finds him. Sancho now. He's got all the time in the world. He's going to drill it low and hard. 
Sancho, off the crossbar, are you fucking kidding me? It's not even a fucking corner. What is going on? Couldn't find the back of the net if we had a map to it. It's ridiculous. We've hit the crossbar about 14 times in this episode. Timber wins it high up the field now. Bruno, Ronaldo, Rashford. Is Rashford in? He's not. It's a great challenge from Burn, I think that was. And uh, five minutes to go to half time. Still a nil, nil all here. And there is half time. Nil all. Well, tell you what, I'm happy that we haven't conceded. I'm really happy. The back five has felt a lot better. I mean, it is Newcastle, but it has felt a lot better. And uh, yeah, we haven't conceded. And is there any results going our way? Well, Chelsea aren't winning. Spurs are losing. Yeah, okay. Let's find a goal in the second half, boys. Come on. Oh, Newcastle flip one in. And St. Maximum puts them ahead. This is a nightmare. Somehow he just slipped that through. And that, that pass to St. Maximum is, is worthy of an award. I don't know if they give awards for assists. I think they do. But if there is one, give it to him now. Because nothing's going to top that. He just slid that in. This episode has been a train wreck. And I don't even know if we can salvage it, to be honest. We've just had no luck in front of goal. Up to... Oh, my God, what? He just got absolutely pulverized. Oh, this referee's having a laugh. Almiron, who's been a pest today, sends it in. But uh, Dello does well, and Ronaldo can bring it clear now. Locks it upfield to Rashford. Rashford collects. Ronaldo... Oh, can't he get it to Bruno? He can't. You're kidding me. The pass was so simple. All right, 20 minutes to play here, and we've got to make some changes. Nunez comes on uh, on the left side. Alanga will play. Yeah, he's going to have to play. Sancho's done nothing for us lately. And um, I feel like Chiamini should play, but I don't know. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Nunez is going to play up top. Ronaldo's going to drop behind him and play centre forward. I think that's going to work better for Ronaldo. Alanga's going to move over to that right side and come on. Rashford comes off. Sancho's off, as you guys know. And Fernandez is going to play on that left forward role, which I think he'll handle nicely. Uh, we need to try and get a point from this game because we cannot lose this one. Alanga now upfield. Nunez is making a run. But Ronaldo goes back out wide to Alanga. We dinks it over to Nunez, and Dubravka collects, and we're starting to run low on minutes here. Rice on the ball. Ronaldo looks for Nunez, finds Nunez. Is Nunez onside? I don't know, but he's going to try and finish it. Nunez does finish it! Get in! Come on! That's what we fucking want. Ronaldo with a beautiful ball in. I knew Ronaldo sitting behind Nunez would work, and it's worked wonders. Maybe this isn't the way forward. And now Nunez just tucks it in under Dubravka. And it's one all with a bit of time to play here. Come on, we can get something more from this. Dallo with a big challenge up the field. Alanga, Ronaldo over the top. Nunez is in again. Darwin Nunez. Oh, what a save, Dubravka. Oh, it was a good hit from Nunez as well. Have a look at this. All right, they skipped it. Cheers, boys. Need to try and get Ronaldo on this one. Bruno sends it in. Ronaldo is under it, but can't get ahead to it above Dubravka. And time is really starting to run out now. Newcastle will knock it forward now. Tellez. Tellez does well. Up to Bruno. Bruno's looking for a run. He dinks it forward. Was a bit blind. Should have ran up with it a bit. Now that's it. Newcastle bring it forward. Oh, big chance here with Gale. Tellez. Oh, it's a big chance. It comes out to high. Oh my god. Oh, oh. What was the noise I made before when I died inside? Oh, oh. That is shocking. Big save from De Gea. And then what, the, what, what am I supposed to do about that? What can I do about that? Well, that's the game. That's it. This is the last kick. That's it. Full time, 2-1, Newcastle win. I really thought we were going to get something there at the end. And we did, we got an L. The boys look lost. 
I feel like uh, I could get the sack. Chelsea lose as well. So Chelsea lose. That was our chance to uh, to gain some ground on them. But it uh, wasn't to be. wasn't to be. Uh, it's just an absolute train wreck. I'd, and I feel like we're going to have to spend in January. Uh, the guy who left the comment who wanted Anthony, you're probably going to get him, mate, because uh, we need to bring in some players. I just, I feel like we need a centre back as well. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, please put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm sorry it wasn't a better episode. Uh, hopefully the next one is much better. But we've got a lot of work to do, so at least it's interesting. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. So thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time. Cheers, guys.